Greetings, friends and fellow nerds. Well, it's it's been a while. And here you are, finally. Where have you been? Ah, well, you know, life. Yeah, it's been too long. And I hope to rectify that in the near future by hopefully releasing a video a week. So not all on the subject of Babylon 5. I hope to delve into other franchises also. So let's delve into the actual video with more one-off characters from Babylon 5. And I realized I should really make this video when I left the first character on this list, Team of, played by Jane Carr out of the last video. I mean, she wasn't even in the honorable mentions until I was reviewing this episode, Soulmates, for another reason. And I'm going, how on earth could I have left this amazing character out of it? I mean, Jane Carr hits this out of the park. She is absolutely fantastic. And you'll see that yourself from a brief scene here, but she has so many more great scenes in this episode. And I really recommend you check it out. Ambassador Malari's three wives. A harem, oh, the lucky dog. You are Via? Yes. I am Timov, daughter of Al Ghul. You will take me to my husband. I was told there would be three of you. Who is this? No, never mind. I said you will bring me to my husband. Is your hearing deficient? No, but I then do let's be off. It is a pleasure to meet you. Should have put the emphasis on pleasure. She'd have loved you then. Pleasure? Via? Yes! Madam. Now, next up we have Paul Winfield as General Richard Franklin. This is a great character. He plays the estranged father of Dr. Stephen Franklin from the main cast of the show. And he really is a tough as nails old warrior. And we get some great character moments. And we see um, where Stephen may have got some of his peppery disposition from. So let's check it out. You know, if you ask me, I think someone in Earth Dome has gone completely mental. That's an interesting opinion. At ease. <sighs> Sir, this is Commander Ivanova, my second. Mr. Garibaldi, Chief of Security. I had an Alfredo Garibaldi under my command during the Dilgar invasion. Excellent soldier. How's my dad? So much for genetics. Now, if you'll all take a seat, we'll begin. Next up, we have Theodore Baikil, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, playing Rabbi Yosel Kostov in the season one episode TKO. Now that episode is often maligned, but I feel it's one of the really underappreciated episodes of Babylon 5. Rabbi Kostov was a close friend of Ivanova's father and he treats her as his niece, treats her as family, and the feeling is mutual. She loves him as family. And he plays a wonderful role in this, trying to do his best for Ivanova, being, in some ways, being the father she should have had, looking after her interests, caring for her trying to help her grieve with the loss of her father. But let's not spoil anymore. Let's just see this quick scene and I encourage you to check out the episode. You know, he would have liked this place. I invited him, but he always refused. He said humanity had no business in space until we could learn to live in peace on Earth. And you know how he felt about Earth Force. I know, but he didn't mean to hurt you by it, Suzuchka. It was just that he was so terribly afraid of losing you, as he lost Sophie and Ganya. He lost me long before that. Is that why you won't sit Shiva? No, I told you my duties won't allow it. We've got three trade convoys due by Saturday and... Commander Sinclair seems to think he can handle it. And he said you could have as much time as you need. 
You spoke to the commander about this? Yes. A fine man. You should not have done that. I'm a rabbi. When I see a Jew denying one of our most basic traditions, I meddle. My father always tried to control my life when he was alive. I don't need anyone to take his place now that he's gone. Please excuse me. Suzuchko, please, I didn't mean... Now, next up, we have Roy Brocksmith playing brother Alwyn McComber. And though he's only in one scene, he really steals the show. I mean, he's a great character. Curmudgeon, grumpy. I think we all know guys like this. And, well, I won't play the whole scene, but just enjoy this little snippet of it. It's from the season four episode, Deconstruction of Falling Stars. Yes, yes, just a moment. Well, Brother Michael, it's, it's rather late. Uh, yes, I, I know, I know, but uh, yeah, I, I really had to talk to you, Brother Alwyn. Oh, I, 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 so it would seem. I am having a, a crisis of faith. That again. What? Nothing, nothing. And uh, what is afflicting your conscience tonight, Brother Michael? Well, I don't know what my role is or, or yeah, what I'm doing here. You're doing God's work. Yes, but to what end? Well, the ways of the Lord are mysterious and do not bend to your or to my desire for answers on a certain schedule. Where was thou when I called forth Leviathan? Yes, I've read Joe, Brother Owen. It is really not helping. All right, Brother Michael. What has precipitated this particular crisis of faith? Now next up we have Kare Hiroyuki Tagawa. Probably butchering the man's name, so my apologies. He played security officer Marishi in the season 3 episode Convictions. Now, he didn't appear in too many scenes in this episode. But there was just a gravitas about his character that... I wished he'd become a recurring character, even becoming a character like Isaac Callan. I'd love to have seen him in more episodes, but here's just a short example of him in the episode. Marishi, come here. Check this out. From the pattern of the debris, I'd say this is a center point for the blast. It looks like it. Scoring on the wall indicates tremendous force. Yeah, we haven't been able to find anything around here that could have caused this naturally. Bomb? Bomb. Because my vacation, one week off in two years, I was behind this, really haunt me off now. Okay, listen up. I want this whole area sealed off. Security personnel only. Tell the environmental cleanup crew that they can wait. Do what you can to reconstruct this thing. Will do. Good, I'll tell the captain. He ain't gonna like this. Next up from the season five episode Learning Curve, we actually have two characters. Those being Durhan, played by Brian McDermott, and that character is referenced several times throughout Babylon 5 lore. We also have Turval, played by Turan Bey, who played a character in the previous best one off characters video that being the centauri emperor emperor turan who actually got his name from the actor so full circle this is a great episode again highly recommend you checking it out especially as season five is often maligned as not being as good as other seasons it has great episodes great characters and Seasons 1 to 5 are all worth checking out. So, without me rambling on too much, here are the two in action. Anyone can meditate in silence. That is hardly a challenge worthy of a ranger. A challenge is to stand alone, unarmed, prepared to die. I would hardly say sitting and thinking is a challenge. True. You do seem to have the sitting part down to an art, so I suppose there's hope. As for thinking, well, uh, let's leave that for the advanced classes. We shouldn't expect too much of you at once. We'll worry about thinking once we've cleared away all that warrior caste nonsense. 
Apologies. The choice of words... Was unfortunate? In error? Untimely, Zach Duhal. Return to your meditations. Tobal, we have just received a message from Delenn. She would like a report on our progress here. She's asked for me to come and to bring one other along. And you have chosen me. I'm honored. It's good to know that at my advanced age, there is still respect for wisdom and perception. Everyone else was busy. <laughs> you are a source of constant annoyance to me, Toval. But only because you're right more often than you're wrong. And why should I keep this joy to myself? I choose to share you with the universe. Valen, help them all. Next up, from the episode And a Rock Cried Out No Hiding Place, we have Mel Winkler playing Reverend William Dexter. Now, unlike most other shows, Babylon 5 portrays religious people in a positive light. And here we have the good Reverend giving Captain Sheridan some very, very good advice. Thank you for your concern, Reverend. You know, before I got married, Emily used to come by sometimes and help me clean out my apartment. Well, I asked her, how come you're so eager to help clean up my place when your place is just as bad? She said, because cleaning up your place helps me to forget what a mess I've made of mine. And when I sweep my floor, all I've done is sweep my floor. But when I help you clean up your place, I am helping you. Of course, the way I live back there, sometimes the mess was too much for both of us, but it sure was nice to have the company. Hi, right, Captain. Lastly, on this list, we have Tim Choate playing Zatras. No, 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 no. Zatras, not Zatras. Zatras is in the recurring characters. This is Zatras. No, that was not Zatras. That was Zatras. There are ten of us. All of family Zatras. Each one named Zatras. Slight differences in how you pronounce Zatras. Zatras. Zathras. You are seen now. There are ten of you? Yes. Uh, well, nine now. And Zathras? Gone. Zathras warned Zathras, but Zathras never listened to Zathras. Zathras was quiet one in family. Joke! Uh, what can Zathras be doing for you? Well, I may need to do a third video on this subject. Babylon 5 has great one-off characters. And if I do a third video, I will probably include characters from Crusade and from the movies. There are some really great characters in there. Well, you've made it all this way and I really want to thank you for sticking this out. It's a lot of fun for me and I really love going through Babylon 5, looking at the characters and exploring them all again. It's just really, really difficult not to give too much away in some of these scenes because I want you to enjoy and experience the show as I have. But I also want to give you the flavour of some of the characters I love. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, but if you didn't like this, I wouldn't mind you giving it a thumbs down and letting me know why, because I really want to improve my craft, improve how I do it, and make better videos going forward. And if you'd like, I would mind if you'd subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications when I do upload, because I do want to make this a more regular occurrence putting out a video, maybe one a week. So once again, thank you. 
and hopefully see you all again soon and made it how do i do this again it's been a while may you all get to heaven a half hour before the devil knows you're dead god bless